Hi, it's me, Nathan. I'm sure you probably don't recognize me because it's been a while and I look very different than I did before. Right? So nowadays in the media, there's a lot of throwbacks and flashbacks to old things that came from days past, like thrown back to the 80s with Stranger Things, or the 90s with Bruno Mars, and or the 1300s with the global pandemic. So today, I'm going to be messing around with a cassette tape. If you don't know what that is, that's how our grandparents used to listen to music. That's not true. It's our parents. I plan on recording a song, vocals and acoustic guitar, and I'm going to record it onto cassette tape, and then take the sound from that and put it into my computer. So I have a few things here that I'm going to be using. I have a vocal mic, vocal mic, uh, my guitar pedal, it's a fuzz pedal, and it sounds real spicy, cassette tape, and this thing, this archaic um, monster here. All right, so this would take the place of a four track recorder or one of those little cassette, cassette recorders that people use. I don't know why I'm not doing it like that. I know why. Uh, I don't want to wait for that in the mail and I don't want to spend money. I have this at home, so why not use it? Okay, see, recording studio, you know, it does it, so. Okay, so I'm going to set up a few things. First thing, let's take fuzz pedal and hook that up. I did this wrong. Hold on. Nope, did it wrong again. It's okay. I got this. We're going to start from the top again. What is going on? Oh, um, alright. Okay. So that... That goes into mic two. This other wire goes into the guitar. Now the mic is where it gets a little The mic is where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna need a boom mic stand. The light's using it. This is gonna have to do. Actually let's put it right here. It's taking way longer than I anticipated. Oh shoot, that hurt. I have no idea what I'm doing. I figured it out. Okay. Here. That's set up. One more quarter inch. All right, final piece of the puzzle. Boom. All right, we should be good now. Let me move this stuff. Okay, so we're all set up. I'm going to take you around to show you what's happening. So from the guitar, I'm running to fuzz pedal here, and then that's going out and going into mic two right there. And then mic one coming out of my little interface, which the microphone, this bad boy right here, is plugged into. And since the microphone is an, X, is an XLR connection, is going into the XLR port of the interface and then coming out of the output going into this guy right here. And then that should give us sound. All right, so now the last thing to do is uh, put the tape. It's not the last thing. The last thing would be doing the song to uh, put this tape into the tape thingy. I don't think that's the open because, oh, it is. Keys. Hope I don't break it. There we go. Mmm, shiny. What? It's already cracked? Hope I don't break it. IEC 1 Type 1 D60. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna bring you down. Okay. So now, stop eject. Right? Oh, is that how it works? It's not on. Alright, let's check levels first. Check. So I think we're ready to do something. I don't know what happens next. 
So I've been stalling because I'm nervous about how this is going to turn out. I think that there are no redos in tape. I can't like fix everything, so I'm kind of, I'm scared. Okay, it's recording. All right. I messed up so many times, but you know what? That, that's a good, good run. It's because of my nervousness. Let's rewind it. Let's see what happens. It's down here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Well, there you have it. That's how it goes. I really wanted to try this because one of my personal heroes is a Mac DeMarco. He records onto tape, so I was like, why not? I am gonna redo that whole thing where, where I don't I don't mess up, and I will be putting that up. Keep a lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a great quarantine, I suppose.